what's going on guys i got my snapping turtle godzilla right here and look how big this guy has gotten when i first got this turtle he was the size of a quarter but anyways today we're going to be feeding him a small mouse i like to do this every once in a while just for a little bit of extra calcium and just because he likes to eat them to be honest we're going to be feeding a few of the other animals not sure which ones i'm going to be including in the video today i'm thinking that i'm gonna buy a couple pinkies i'm gonna feed some of the savannah uh some of the monitors i'm gonna feed the savannah monitor the black tree monitor not a uh, raptor because raptor uh, which is my water monitor he already ate one the other day and i don't want him to get too many rodents the snapping turtle needs one and we're gonna feed some of the tortoises as well check out the aldabra tortoises these guys are getting bigger and bigger every day and look at the little hermits coming in the background this enclosure right here is probably my favorite enclosure just because every time that i get anywhere near it every single turtle in here comes up to me and the reason they do that is because every time they get near me i give them a little flower I already fed the hermits and the odabras yesterday, so I'm not gonna feed them again anything too big. Today they'll just eat like leaves and flowers and things that fall off of the trees because I don't wanna feed them every day because then they'll get too too fat. Today we're gonna be feeding the monitors and the snapping turtle. This guy, as you can see, much faster and more alert than when I first got him. Let's see if he finds this mouse. Now I wouldn't give a warning today because obviously it's a feeding video. Oh, oh, you just walked right over the mouse. What are you doing? Nope, nope. He just, he just walked right over it. Watch out. Relax. Relax. Slow down. Hey. Oh, there we go. My guy, what are you looking for? He's about to jump off just to get to my hand. Shh, 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 shh. It's okay. It's okay. Relax. Here. <laughs> oh. My guy. Oh, my God. This dude is getting chunky for sure. But anyways... Look, here's the food. Get it. Bro is going crazy. You good? That was, that's kind of sad. He was going so crazy and it, it literally just took him a second to finish off the food. Relax, it's okay, I'm sorry. This is another guy that I fed the other day. I fed him some eggs. Why are you so crazy today? All right, we're gonna put you back to sleep. Go ahead, go back. But yeah, he ate some eggs yesterday, so. Uh, this is just a little snack for him. And check out who's by my feet right here. This is Nyx. Luna's over here. These two should be laying eggs soon. And Bonnie's eating a little bit of Missouri in there as well from this morning. Anyways, we're going to lock you up and we're going to finish feeding the snapping turtle. Are you cool with that? Can you go back in? We got to dump your water. It's a little bit old already. Next, we're going to be feeding the black tree monitor. This guy's a little bit more shy, so he doesn't like eating out of my hands. He doesn't want to eat out of the tongs. So I'm going to just put it right there where he is and let him find it himself. All right, let's see if he finds it. And obviously all the rodents that I feed are pre-killed. But there we go. When I first got this guy, he didn't really like the mice too much, but I finally got him to start eating them every once in a while now. I don't feed him too often, but something that I like to feed maybe like once a month or every couple months or so and just like that down the hatch but yeah this guy i have to be very quiet and like slow with him because he'll start flinching as soon as i move too quickly this is his uh missouri here that i feed him and you can see all of these guys live inside of this enclosure which is pretty cool because they keep it clean they'll eat all his poop and everything and then they'll turn into beetles and he could eat the beetles or he could eat these but since they're all inside of his food bowl i don't think that he really likes them too much if not he would be eating all of them now check this out all of them were chilling right on top they're just floating these guys, I absolutely love them. And look who's here basking, the snapping turtle. And a lot of people say snapping turtles don't bask. No, that's not entirely true. As you can see, he actually likes spending a lot of time outside of the water. I got his little pinky right here. When I first got him, he used to be eating these. I'm not feeding him a bigger one because it'll create a really big mess. But he used to eat these even when he was like the size of a quarter. So I'm sure he'll be able to just inhale it this time. And I kind of want to see if he'll still need to bite through it or if he'll just swallow the whole thing. But we're going to go ahead and get started with the Indian spotted turtles first. And now obviously the snapping turtle eats this as well. But uh, today he's going to be eating the mouse and he'll probably eat some of these as well. 
All right, and he just jumped in. I kind of missed it when I was closing this, but let's see if he'll start eating that. But there's the first Indian spotted turtle coming out. And here he is. These guys are a little bit more shy. That big one and that little one are my two most uh, friendly Indian spotted turtles. I could actually grab them when they're sitting on top of the log, which is pretty cool. There's Godzilla with his long neck. So anyways, let's get on the GoPro and see what's gonna be happening under the water. Look at this, she followed me over here. This is Nyx again, she was over there. And now she's walked over here. And there's Godzilla getting another snack. All right, well, Godzilla's coming over here, so I think it's time that we get him fed. We haven't fed him with tongs in a while. There we go. He took it down real quick. Hasn't swallowed it yet, but as you can see, he doesn't even have to tear it apart anymore. He just swallows the whole thing. And I might have messed up the clip because Somebody decided to bite my foot as I was feeding it and I only have one mouse so hopefully it's not too bad but Godzilla's over here. He went under the rock already. Like I said, he's gonna be eating a lot of the Missouri pellets that are all floating around. So you can see they took care of all the Missouri. Godzilla's, he was actually asleep a second ago but I woke him up when I got here. And the Indian spotteds are just sitting by the log. They really like doing that. I'm gonna be getting some water lilies to cover this up. I'm gonna be getting some minnows to put in here as well. Not minnows, but uh, mosquito fish so that they could eat it because whatever fish that goes in here is not gonna be able to survive for that long. There's a lot of poop and old food and stuff on the floor that all the other little fish could eat. The snails are eating some of it, but they don't do a great job. And I realized that I overfed them in this video. I threw too many scoops since I wasn't really paying attention while filming. But I usually just throw one and that's more than enough for them. But anyways, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Let me know what you guys want to see more of in the comments. And make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and have a great day. Oh, we can't forget about Johnny in the video. Check him out. What's up, little guy? Look how big he's getting. It's my little red eared slider. Caught him a while ago in one of my cast netting videos. And since they're invasive here, I wasn't able to keep them. Or I mean, I wasn't able to release them. So we ended up keeping him, but he's doing great. I got this big old stump right here and he loves to climb it to the top. I want to add more water though, because it is kind of shallow and it scares me when he jumps in. I mean, he lands just fine because it's deep enough for him since he's so small, but still I want to add the water up to just right here. And I want to add some fish and plants in here as well.